the Eucharistic miracle of Offida, Italy, in the year 1273. In 1273 in the town of Lanciano, a woman named Ricky Arella went to a witch and asked her how she could recover the affection of her husband, Giacomo Stasio. The witch had a powerful reputation for bringing the excitement back into marriages whose fire had gone out. The witch prescribed the following potion, go to communion, but don't swallow the host. Take it home, put it on the stove and burn it. Take the ashes, and throw them into his wine or his soup. Then let me know the effect. You'll see that he will walk in heat like cats on a fence. Following the witch's advice, she went to communion to obtain a consecrated host. After having received the host, she left the church and ran through the streets of Lanciano until she reached her home. She returned home and put the host on the fire in an earthenware jar with the intention of turning the blessed sacrament into powder to put into her husband's food. Her hands shook violently. She started a fire under an earthen pot. Then, when it was very hot, she took the host, and placed it in the pot. It began to smoke. The outside of the host turned into flesh, and began to bleed profusely. The center of the host retained its original form. The blood gushed from the host turned flesh. She panicked. She didn't know what to do. The blood covered the bottom of the pot, which was filling quickly. Ricky Arella, horrified by these events, took wax and dirt and threw them into the pot. She filled the pot with dirt, but the blood seeped through the dirt, rising to the top of the pot. She didn't know where to throw the sacred host. She ran out to the stable, and dug a hole in the dung of the mule. She buried the tablecloth and the pot with the Eucharist inside. That evening when her husband Giacomo returned home, his horse refused to enter the stable. After severe beatings, the animal entered sideways, facing the heap of garbage until at last it fell on its knees. On seeing this strange behavior, Giacomo became angry and accused his wife of casting a spell on the stable. Ricciarella remained silent and bore the accusations. For seven years the Blessed Sacrament remained hidden in the heap beneath the garbage. The strange behavior of animals at the stable continued all through these years. Ricciarella too was tormented by guilt at her sacrilege. Finally she could bear it no longer and decided to confess her sin to a priest, Prior Giacomo di Italavi, from the monastery of St. Agostino in Lanciano. According to the oldest stories, the woman, in tears, began screaming, I killed God. I killed God. The priest went to the place, found the bundle with the relics, and gave them to his fellow citizens. A cross-shaped reliquary was made to contain the host. An ancient story recounts that two monks, Brother Michel and a C.O.N.F. Rayer, were invited to Venice. When they arrived, they made the craftsman promise with an oath of loyalty that he would not reveal to anyone what he was about to see and place inside the cross. Having taken the oath, the craftsman took the PYX containing the miraculous host, but, struck with a sudden fever, exclaimed, What have you brought me, O oh my brother? The religious then asked him if he was in mortal sin. The craftsman answered, Yes, made his confession to the same priest and, the fever having left him, he took the PYX without any danger. Without extracting the host, he fixed both host and PYX, together with the sacred wood, inside the same cross, with a crystal above it, as you can clearly see. The reliquaries of the jar and the blood-stained linen with the cross containing the miraculous host are exposed in the church of St. Augustine in Offida. Ricky Aretta's house was transformed into a small chapel. In 1973, the seventh centenary of the miracle was celebrated, and every year on May 3, the citizens of Offida celebrate the anniversary of the miracle.